bad choices in my life and stuff. I slept under a bridge for two years. I didn't even know Truth Ministries even existed until two guys told me about them when you guys were way out in the valley. I got to know the McKinney's who run the ministry here and stuff, and they've helped me along the way, got me back in the church, got me back in, in, in the Word of God and stuff. And since then, I've now got my own place to live, and I've gotten a great opportunity to come down and help these guys on a nightly basis. I'm, I'm a glad member of, of the team here. I used to sleep underneath the bridge on uh, Maple Ash Street. Stephen Brown has come a long way since then. Because if it wasn't for Truth Ministries and, uh, and, and other shelters and stuff, especially this one, um, I'd probably still be out there using drugs and drinking alcohol. I, I feel that. I'd probably still with it. Brown spent about a year under this roof. This is the bed I slept in. He kicked his meth addiction here, he found God here, and he grew strong enough to live on his own here. This place does a lot for a lot of people and stuff. And I, I want to see keep going. Brown's story is one that's been repeated hundreds of times over the past six years. We have our beds full almost every night. Julie McKinney and her husband Marty are the directors of Truth Ministries. These are uh, needles that we've found at different times. They've devoted their lives to helping others. Now they need help. Everything kind of hit at once this winter. Three of their major donors stopped giving money this winter, so the mission is running on about $1,500 less a month than before. At the same time, their bills have increased, but they keep their faith. God, he's been faithful so far, so we know that he's not going to let us down. Brown is hoping their prayers are answered by people in the community, so the mission can continue to tell success stories like his. I just plead with the public to give what you can. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way down here. It really does. I ended up moving away from God after being in, being in the ministry, in and out of ministry for 25 years. Um, got into drugs and uh, of course my whole life went down the toilet and um, everything I had. But I still have the love of my kids. They're all still here in town. I got four grandchildren. And um, I just want to say that uh, Truth Ministries, when I first came here, I was desolate. I was at the bottom. I didn't know where I wanted to go, but I knew that all those years that I prayed on and off and I was out in the street for God to get me out, I recognized that this was that opportunity. And uh, it's been a real blessing. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful, safe place that I call home right now, away from home. So there it is. Through this barren waste, we all wander. Scars. They're all a jealous jury.